and welcome to this Eon Coliseum presentation. Eon Coliseum is a multi-user interactive 3D tool where users can share 3D models, voice, video and interaction. It's all done over the internet and you can have multiple users log in to the same session and share events independent of where they're located. Let me first show you the basic Eon Coliseum application. Uh, this is a room consisting of three screens, one with a data presentation, one with 3D presentation, and one with video, as we will see. We also have access to a chat window, very similar to any uh, online meeting tool. You can communicate with voice over IP, you can navigate with a orbit navigation or walkthrough, you can do a presentation where everyone has to follow you as a host or they can interact freely depending on what's needed. Uh, we're showing different viewpoints that's been programmed into this example. Let's take a look at the first screen. This is a simple PowerPoint presentation going through the highlights of Ian Colosseum. You can upload also Word, PDF and any type of documents into Colosseum. Uh, there's also a capability to share a data link with software such as MATLAB. Eon Coliseum is an authoring tool and network tool wrapping around Eon Studio, Eon Professional, our well-known authoring tools. You add a number of capabilities uh, such as the capability of uh, interacting in a shared way with a 3D object such as the one that we will see for the automobile here. If you have multiple users joining the session, anyone can interact, for instance, opening a door or closing a door, turning on transparency for an object or any other interactivity that's been added to the simulation. You can add Colosseum features to existing simulations that you've developed as well. Next example here will be from the uh, AC space. This is an apartment building and right now we're looking at this as a model floating in the room. Uh, we can also go inside the model. In this case the interaction is a little bit different. You can position and furnish the room interactively. If another user grabs a chair or a table and moves it around it will give an indication which user in the session that is moving the object. This types of interactions uh, can be easily programmed again using our authoring tools and then shared in the Colosseum environment with the network capability of Colosseum. Next example is an example from the educational space. This is a fully interactive model of a human brain and here we see we have a little text interface that helps us identify the major landmarks of this model. By the way, you will notice that there's two avatars in this model and we'll, towards uh, the end of this presentation, we'll also look at uh, uh, mobile avatars and articulated avatars as well. Again, you can navigate and control the position in the room to any location preferred. Next, we will go through the basic uh, tool panel. First, you have uh, the ability to select different camera points in the room. These can be predetermined but also changed interactively as you go through a session. Perhaps you need to highlight something in that specific session. The fourth and final model we'll look at in this example is a scientific model of the solar system. Here we give a uh, an example of uh, integrating video captured video or live video can be in entered into Colosseum. If you use live video, you need to use a Macromedia server and a web camera. Avatars you can introduce in order to represent the participants and you can also change the viewpoints as mentioned. There's also a couple of other tools available. There is a laser pointer where I can basically click uh, on a, a part of the scene and highlight an object or something that I want to draw the particular
participants' attention to as I go through a presentation. There's also a measuring tool. Perhaps I'm doing an interior design or a design review and I want to be able to check distances and measure as we go through a particular design or, or object. I can also create uh, screen captures in order to save information about the session. I can move from the client interface into a full screen mode as well if I'm using this online and as we'll see shortly I can also move these types of sessions into fully immersive environments on a single screen or an immersive IQ. Here we see an example of a more articulated avatar. In this case uh, the avatar has been captured live and entered into the Colosseum session. You can record different gestures such as moving around, drawing attention, pointing, etc. And you capture this not only as a generic avatar but as your exact representation as this is a live recording of the presenter teacher that would join the presentation. Next, we will uh, shortly look at how we create Eon Coliseum applications like the one that we've seen here. Uh, we're familiar with Eon Studio, Eon Professional Authoring Interfaces, and Eon Coliseum adds a number of new nodes to this familiar authoring tool. It allows you to set up presentation surfaces, voice over IP, uh, distributed events over the internet and the other capabilities existing in Colosseum. And here you see an example of a Colosseum application with a network distribution uh, for the camera movement. So I can control this as a follow host or move freely around. And here we see how it's connected within the route editing view, depending on, of course, the, uh, the, the contents of the Colosseum application. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you can run Colosseum not only on a laptop or a mobile device or a desktop, you can also run it in an immersive environment with avatars. For certain safety applications, training, uh, connecting iCubes together uh, is a, the most efficient and viable way to do it. Thank you very much for joining this presentation.